I'm Yamaguchi Kaito, 20 years old. While working at Nanakuma Senior Home, I also take care of my three-year-old brother on my own. Kaito, carry me! Sure thing. Oh, there she is. Kaito, sorry I'm late. You're heading to work now, right? She's Anna Ishiguro. She's my childhood friend who lives next door, and is a sophomore at Nanakuma University. Ah, they asked me to come into work because Ogata still needs the day off. It's tough on a Saturday, huh? Yeah, short staff, so it can be helped. Anna! Rikudo, come here! Rikudo's really taking a liking to you, huh? <laughs> Rikudo is like my little brother, too. Yeah! I've been able to work with peace of mind ever since I started taking care of him. Thank you, always. Well then, I'm off. Take care! Kaito, good luck at work! Ah, oh, I love her. I really, really do. Alright, let's do our best at work. Good morning! Kaito, sorry for calling you in on your day off. It's okay. Having another guy around really helps me out. Uh, where should I go? Can you assist Obayasi in the bath? Got it. Even without a caregiver certification. Under instructions, you can work in facilities performing tasks like physical care, life assistance, transportation, and administrative duties. Obayashi, how's the water temperature? Fox, it feels great! Kaito, could you help Yamada? She fell out of bed. I'll go get Nurse Sonoda. Got it! Yamada, what happened? Kaito, there's a stranger in my room. Mom, I'm your daughter, Mika. How come the staff remembers, but you don't remember your own daughter? That's because you haven't visited for a whole year? Miss Yamada, it's okay. Your daughter came to see you. Huh? This job can be physically and mentally challenging, but I find it rewarding. Someday, I want to get a caregiver certification and be more helpful. I'm back. Both of them are asleep. Whoa, toys and picture books are scattered everywhere. Anna must have been really busy taking care of her little brother. Thanks, Anna. Huh? Uh, Kaito? Sorry for waking you up. Oh, it's okay. Good job at work. I fell asleep while reading picture books. Sorry, and I haven't cleaned up either. No, I appreciate it. Did you have dinner? I fed Rikido, but I haven't eaten yet. Nice! I bought this for you. Awesome! Kaito, are you studying later? Yeah. Since I can't attend school, I decided to get a caregiving certification through distance learning. I've already got certifications like Recreation Caregiver Level 2 and Caregiver Advisor. Now I'm studying to become a dementia care assistant. Maybe I'll study with you. I have a report due by Monday. Will you make it on time? No worries, I've got plenty of time. I really appreciate having her around. She's a huge help, but I also feel sorry about it. If I run around, she could enjoy her college life more. I'm sorry. I'm helping you because I want to. Plus, Riku is so cute. Thank you. Even though I think it's wrong to rely on her, I can't bring myself to let her go. I'll keep putting off that day. Thanks for the meal. Well then, I'll tidy up so you focus on your studies. Yeah, thanks. Alright then everyone, take care and hop on! 
today is our monthly trip to the shopping mall with everyone from the facility. You can shop online or through a proxy, but going out for this boosts your spirits, seeing clothes and cosmetics, which helps with rehabilitation. I'm thinking of buying that lipstick I saw in the commercial. Sounds good. Definitely tell me about it, too. Shall we go, then? Yes! Which store do you want to see? Oh. Huh? Is that Anna? I noticed her ahead, but I couldn't call out to her. She was with a guy. Let's go over there. There's a lot of shops that way. Got it! No, don't think about her right now. Focus on work. Anna. My mom told me to take this with me. Anna! Rikuro! I won't be able to see scenes like this anymore. I've put Riku to bed. I think I'll head home now. We have a circle event tomorrow. I need to talk to you, so let's go to my room, huh? I don't want to make Rito, who's sleeping right next to us, emotionally. Okay. Why did you go to the trouble of calling me to your room? You're busy with college life, right? That's why I feel like I shouldn't rely on you anymore. Didn't I tell you not to worry about that? I'm doing this because I want to. Did you bring me here for that reason? It's not like that. No, my body is shaking. I saw you today. You were with a guy, that's why. Huh? I was with him for tomorrow's shopping trip. And it wasn't just the two of us, there were other people too. Is that so? Still, maybe you shouldn't come here anymore. Why? I don't want to interfere with your college life. Without me, you could have a more enjoyable time. What's that supposed to mean? A am I bothering you? I'm the one who's bothering you! Have I ever said that you're a hindrance to my college life even once? Have I ever said that I hate taking care of your little brother? You haven't said that, but, uh... I've had enough. Uh, wait a minute! I was finally hoping you'd confess to me! I come to your house and help out because I like you, you know? Anna... That confession Kaito couldn't make that day? I've been waiting for that for so long. Since middle school, I've liked her. I was determined to confess after knowing we both got into Nanakuma University. Kaito, what's wrong? Anna. Is there something you want to tell me? I uh, have feelings for you. Uh, the timing is bad. Answer the phone. Okay. It's a call from an unknown number. Uh, hello? It was a call from the police informing me about my parents' accident. I decided to give up on going to university to take care of my younger brother, and my confession to her was left hanging. I can't possibly confess to you. Why not? Because I only have a high school diploma, no qualifications, and it'll be many years until my brother grows up. I can't make you wait. Why isn't my choice in this? You'll meet a lot of people at university and find someone better than me. There is no one better than you. Despite taking care of my brother so devotedly, looking after my grandparents, juggling work, house chores, and childcare, I even study for qualifications. That's just normal. It's not normal. Seeing my friends in college made me realize even more. Everyone's only thinking about themselves. There's no one like Kaito. Anna. I don't just want to lighten your load a bit. I want to be with you and Riku, because I love you. 
I love you too. You finally said it. Sorry. <laughs> it took a while. Yeah, sorry. A kiss? Huh? If you kiss me, I'll forgive you. Is that okay? Don't ask. Anna, I love you. I'll cherish you. Yeah, I'm happy. I want to let her parents know we're dating and decided to visit her house to introduce myself. Please, accept our relationship. Dad, Mom, let us live together. Live together! Huh? What are you talking about? But if we live together, you'll be even better off, right? Plus, I'll get to spend more time with you and Riku, and we'll be happier together. Happier! Wait, we've only just started dating. We need proper approval for this relationship. Kaito, I'm trusting you with this girl. Anna didn't lift a finger around the house until high school, then suddenly wanted to help because she wanted to be useful to you. I feel better knowing she's learning responsible things in college instead of picking up bad habits. Thank you, Kaito. Huh? But come and play with us occasionally. Hmm? We want to see Rikuto sometimes. Yay! Kaito, Riku, we'll be together forever from now on. Oh, thank you so much. I'll definitely make her happy. Kaito, you've grown up so well. Your mom and dad in heaven must be so proud. Yeah, really. I struggled with a troublesome daughter, but having such a wonderful son makes me happy. Hey, Mom! Mom! <laughs> Two years later, after waiting for Anna to graduate from college, we decided to get married. I thought I should wait until my life was more stable, but... Anna and her family couldn't wait. Finally, I've become Kaito's wife. I'm so happy. I'm happy too. Stay by my side forever, okay? Of course. I wish you both all the happiness. I'm really glad for you. Bro, Anna, congratulations! After losing both parents and raising my brother alone, I gave up on confessing to her. But she's been the one supporting me all this time. I worried her by confessing late, but from now on, I'll always be by her side, walking towards a happy future together. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video! If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos! See you all next time!